Hi, I'm Anya Suiko and with me is Dr. Ramona Yu from the Chonghua Hospital in Cebu City. So yung mga Bisaya po dyan, siya na po yung ating contact. <laughs> Mayo adlaw sa inyong tanya. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for uh, joining us, so Dr. Ramona, on Baby Ghouls. Um, so here's our first question for you. It's really more about getting more information out there about fertility for couples na might be interested or curious or having problems already. So ang question po natin, um, lots of OFW couples may be having a hard time getting pregnant. Can they benefit from ovulation kits or ovulation apps? Okay, um, actually in the Philippines, there's only one ovulation kit available. Um, that's um, using a urine kit to test for LH. It's a hormone that increases before you ovulate. Mm -hmm. So you take that test um, based on your menstrual interval. So kailangan alam mo, you should know um, how many days you interval from one menstruation, first day na menstruation, and the next first day. So usually 28 days, up to 35 days, you know. So, if 28 days, so your ovulation usually is two weeks before your next menstruation. Mm -hmm. So, 28 minus 14 or two weeks, that's on the 14th day. So, dapat man starts ka nung ovulation kit before yung ovulation. Kasi, yung LH mo, it rises like um, one day to two days before the ovulation. So, okay. kailangan mo madetect yung um, rise no LH. So, kung two days before, that's 12 days. So, um, you should do it earlier than 12. So, 10 days. Start ka na. So, you count from first day ng men's mo. On the 10th, you start the LH. That's every day mo siya dapat kawin until yung first na positive. Yun yung pinaka-important. Okay, so, let me just try that again. So, 10 days before my yung next, yung for next first day, that's when you should start testing for it. Tama po ba? Um, 10 days after the first day. Ah, 10 days after the first day. Ah, okay. Wow. Kasi Medyo before ka mag-ovulate. No? Uh -huh. So, by 12th day, dapat mag-positive na yun. Tapos, dapat kayo mag-contact um, one day after. Uh, on the 13th day. Yeah, one day after the first positive na LH. Ah, I so, see. So, okay. depende yun. Iba-iba kasi uh -oh. day na pwedeng mag-positive. Mm -hmm. But the first positive yun, pinaka-important. Mm -hmm. I see. Understood. Okay, so they start they start to have contact after the first day that they have registered positive on the kit. Yeah. Okay. Okay, wow. That's They should time the They should really time that. Though. That's the mm -hmm. time na mag-ovulate ka sa siya. Are there any things that can, apps that can help them with the timing just to kind of check or assist? Uh, would you yeah, have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Actually, there are, I searched on the phone, mga apps. Mm -hmm. There's over like 50 or 100. Wow, lots but, of apps that can help. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, this one has over a million downloads. Uh -huh. It's the period track <laughs> and I've actually used it so yeah and some of my patients have used it so it tracks how long you interval between menses so you'll know and then it also points which time is the possible time to mag ovulate. So very helpful because maybe like I was confused already with how to track those days mm -hmm. these kinds of apps can help. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's called the period tracker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then um, one more important thing is um, at least two to three times a week dapat nagpo-contact. Mm -hmm. But not also every day kasi um, syempre stress, napapagod. Mm -hmm. But the amount of the sperm minsan hindi siya adequate if too frequent naman. I see, I see. So, yeah, that's why tinatime mo na kailan ka mag-ovulate, dun dapat yung marami. So, example, 14th day yung um, ovulation. So, dapat mga 3 or 2 to 5 days before that, yun yung last contact mo. So, yun yun yung importance na malalaman mo kung kailan dapat kay, ikaw mag-ovulate or mag-contact. Okay, so these apps can really help in that. Aside from seeing uh, 
specialist, of course. <laughs> okay, so nag, uh, we asked for the audience to send in their questions. Para po yung mga tanong nila, we can try to see if we can help. So yung question po nung isang um, nag-send, yung case po nila, this is very complicated. O for wrist cystectomy, pero ang sabi ni Doc, let's just say it's a sister cystectomy. Ginawa sa akin noong 2016 para daw magkaanak na kami, pero bakit na wala pa rin kaming baby? Ano po ba dapat gawin? Wala naman daw problem sa amin, sabi ng OB ko, pero until now, wala pa rin kaming baby. So, okay. 2016, now it's 2018. Apo. Mm -hmm. Two years na po uh -huh. after ng removal niya. Mm -hmm. So usually, yung mga cysts, iba-iba sila, yung cysts sa ovaries. But the most common cyst na may relasyon sa infertility is the endometriotic cyst. Mm -hmm. So, um, itong cyst na to, prone siya na mag-cause ng adhesions rin, um, in surrounding areas like um, the fallopian tube, even sa likod ng uterus, ganun. So, um, kaya ginawa siguro yung operation is not only to remove the cyst, but also to help yung especially yung fallopian tube, kasi doon nagmi-meet si sperm at si egg. So, if six months after the operation, hindi pa rin siya nabutis, dapat bumalik na siya sa OB or kung hindi na kaya ng general OBGYN, um, dapat sa infertility specialist, kagaya namin, yung sa reproductive medicine, um, reproductive endocrinology infertility specialist. Because if you have mga cysts, ganun, six months lang dapat na unprotected sex, mabubuntis ka na. If not, baka kailangan na additional help like artificial insemination or even worse, baka kailangan na ng IVF. Okay. So, there's a lot more that they need to work on. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Doc. That's very helpful. Sana natulungan natin yung mga couples sa madaming tanong ko po sa fertility. Thanks for joining us on Baby Goals, Doc. And uh, thank you for joining us also. Stay tuned for more information so that we can help you meet your baby goals.